What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Jan here. Merry Christmas. And I'm doing a training session for my... I, before I go out, um, before I go out for the, the day, uh, I'm going to go see Wonka and, uh, here in L.A. And it's going to be great. So I uh, want to share this with you. I'm going to do some Negong and some uh, uh, Shaolin Kung Fu drills just to make sure the body is, is uh, as dynamically connected as possible before I head outside. So uh, I'm moving some of the wrapping paper out of the way, uh, and I hope you join me. If you have a thought, question, or idea, as usual, as I always say, please feel free to leave a question or a comment in the uh, uh, a question or, or statement in the comment section, and, and I'll absolutely address it. So um, here we go for the training, and my phone is charging too, so. <clears throat> See if we can get this a good angle here. Great. Okay. So, first thing we'll be doing is we're going to do the 12 yin set of Gong. So, inhale. Well, first of all, every time you do your Qigong and Gong, if you're not used to doing this, imaginary string lifts you from the top of the head. Relaxation cascading down. Down the vertebrae, down the spine. And you want to just put the mind... Like you're going down, driving the mind down, visualize moving your awareness down, like you're a train going downward, and just softening around the vertebrae. Going through the hips, softening the hips, the knees, ankles, heels into the ground. You may need to do it a couple of times too. Start again at the base of the skull and move down. And as you soften, you have this imaginary string concept from lifting from the top of the head. So as you soften, it should feel like you're dangling from this string up here. You can establish that sense. That's why you see me pull my hair. Uh, you can establish this sense. This is only for your visualization. String pulling you up from the crown, from the top of the head, centermost point at the top of the head, and then relaxing as if each vertebra is getting farther away from the last as you move down. So this vertebra feels like the bottom one's falling, and then the next one's falling, Cascading that release that relaxation all the way down. Palms facing flat down, special attention on the middle finger of each hand. Weight on the center of each heel, mouth closed, tongue on the ceiling of the mouth, slight tension in the anus. That's the counterpoint to the tongue on the ceiling of the mouth. And in traditional Chinese medicine, that connects the conception vessel, energy running up and down the front of the body, to the governing vessel, all the energy running up and down the back of the body. And that is the big orbit in traditional Chinese medicine as it's called. So you have slight tension in the anus, tongue on the ceiling of the mouth, mouth closed, all the breathing through the nose. And we're gonna use the belly, more specifically the entire belt, to breathe. But you're gonna focus, especially in the beginning, just on the belly and using that as the pump. Three finger lengths below your belly button or two inches, that's your lower dantian. You're gonna focus on that area, inhaling into the belly, exhaling, washing down the arms of the palms and fingertips. Inhaling to the belly. Second chakra in yoga. Exhale, wash down. Inhaling deep. And you're going to see the breath as a color gathering in this area, in the second chakra area. Exhale, wash it down the arms to the palms and fingertips. Inhale deep. And let's do it a few times, pushing the visualization through the palms and fingertips. Drop the hands and then inhale, breath lifts the wrists. Exhale, wash the color through the palms of fingertips. Inhaling up, interlace your fingers above your head, exhaling down. Soften the knees, inhaling up. It's called uplifting heaven, exhale down, wash the color from the belly down the arms, down the legs. Go for three more of these. Inhale deep, even deeper. Exhale out. So we're gonna get right to the four stage inhalation. I just changed the breathing formula. Inhale stage one, inhale even deeper stage two, intensify the breath, even deeper stage three, even deeper stage four, big breath, exhale, wash that color out down the arms of the palms and fingertips. See the breath gather in the belly. Inhale even deeper. You can think of it as one inhalation, one exhalation, but the inhalation has four stages. Every time you shift, make a shift in the movement, spin the fingers, 
that changes, intensifies the breath. Intensifies the breath as your hands come down. Intensifies the breath even more as your hands go up. Four stage inhalation. One more. If you train with me on a regular basis, see the belly, the obliques inflate, the lower back inflates, and the entire belt. Widen the stance, hollow fist, rest of the hips, exhale down. Inhale, breath pulls you to the side and up. Eyes on the belly button, exhaling down. This is called dragon whips its head, exhaling down. Breath should feel like a rope that you're climbing and then releasing. Reverse it. Like you're climbing a rope as you inhale, exhale, releasing the rope. Visualize that color. The breath is a color going to the belly and release. The exercise is really helpful. Right. Dissipating or redirecting heat trapped in the chest cavity. Drop the hands down. Inhale up. So it's really good when you're stressed. Exhale out. Now we're going into the 12 yin set and they go. We're going to spend about 20 minutes on this. Inhale up. Exhale. Wash the color out. Inhale, draw the wrists in, just the wrists. Notice my elbows don't pull back, just the wrists. Exhale, fingers float down. Wherever the fingers, the height of the fingers, that's the area of your back that you soften. Inhale, breath lifts the wrists. Exhale to the palm of the fingertips. Inhale, pull the wrists back. Exhale, soften the neck, upper back, middle back, lower back. The hip line, buttocks, backs and legs, behind the kneecaps, calves, ankles, heels into the ground. Inhale up, inhale even deeper, palms facing the sky, ceiling, hollow fists. Exhale, pelvis rotates on the femur, bend the leg. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, wash the color through the whole body. Chest parallel to the ground, back flat like a table, straight line from the top of the head and through the tailbone, pulling you in either direction. Inhale deep. Exhale, wash the color out. Elbows should be in front of your eyes. Mine are not right now, so I have to make an adjustment, lift them up. Notice how that adjust my back. Keep the knees bent. Mine were only bent a little bit. I make another adjustment. I drop the butt down, but I lift. Where the pelvis rotating on the femur to keep the back straight. Inhale deep. Exhale out. Two more breaths, draw the color into the belly. Visualize the breath as a color and spread the color as you exhale through the whole body, scanning the body like a radar. One more time. Inhale, open the arms, the hands, fingers. Exhale, reaching through the legs. Straight back. Cross my arms, cross, and then they uncross. And I lift my collarbone to reestablish my posture because my upper back was bending. I want to keep the back flat like a table. Chest parallel to the ground. Tongue on the ceiling of the mouth. Inhale into the belly. This is called golden tortoise. And exhale. Wash the color of the breath, the whole body. You're scanning the body for tension, any unnecessary tension, for any dark patches, any cold area or hot area, anything that feels out of balance in the body. And you scan the body with the breath. You inhale to the belly, exhale like a radar through the whole body with that color, washing the body. Identify the areas that need adjustment. And then inhale, once you find those areas, whether it's cold, too cold, too hot, where it feels like a dark patch in the body, where circulation, dark, a dark patch is normally a place in the body that is uh, uh, missing some circulation uh, and needs some, some help. So you inhale and you bring color back to that area of the body. Inhale whatever color intuitively comes to you, exhale, wash it into the areas that need to be brightened. Inhale deep, wash the color into those areas that are too tense or too cold. If it's too cold, restore heat to that area. If it's too hot, dissipate the heat, disperse it. 
spread it out. Make the adjustments in the body as well. You might find some tension in one area. Move the muscle a little bit to make an adjustment. Inhale deep, exhale, wash the color into that area to help recalibrate those adjustments. Inhale deep, exhale, drop the hands down. Inhale, breath lifts the wrists, wrists lift the body. Exhale, wash the hands to the palms of the fingertips. Now we are doing what's called embracing the one. Middle finger as high as the shoulders. Shoulder blades disappear into the upper back. Notice that my shoulders are down, not up. So if I find tension in the shoulders, I do my best to soften it. What will help you with the softening is keeping your elbows downward as if gravity or if there's weights on your elbows. So the elbows fall straight down and the fingers straight line from the fingers to the elbow. So my fingers are out. I make the adjustments, hands flat. Arms like blades. This is the Wu style of Tai Chi. So the arms. So my fingers are out. I make the adjustments, hands flat. Arms like blades. This is the Wu style of Tai Chi. So the arms. 